Citizens Coalition for Change leader and President Advocate Nelson Chamisa met with the Australian Ambassador Minoli Pereira. And um, in a tweet, she said, Good to meet with opposition CC Zimbabwe leader Nelson Chamisa for a wide ranging conversation in this very important year for Zimbabwe. Recognizing the benefits of international partnerships and the strength of the Australian and Zimbabwean relationship. So we are heading towards elections and um, it is good for Zimbabwe to have a free, fair, credible elections such that it will be able to be adopted back into the international community. Zimbabwe right now is isolated from the international community because of human rights abuses, uh, plunder of natural resources, uh, corruption, uh, abuse of power and so many illegal activities happening in Zimbabwe, including the judicial capture and imprisonment of political opponents by the regime. So uh, by having uh, a, a stronger government, by having a credible government, by having a sincere government, we are going to see Zimbabwe getting partnerships, Zimbabwe getting friends from other countries, maintaining its sovereignty at the same time. Zimbabwe need financial partners. Zimbabwe need trade partners. Zimbabwe need uh, a lot of uh, uh, investment. Zimbabwe need a lot of technology. And we really need to rely on other countries, especially on technology, because President Nelson Chamisa is pro-technology. And um, in Zimbabwe, we are not uh, uh, um, advanced in terms of technology. And we will need other advanced countries to assist us with softwares, uh, to assist us uh, with hardware and some of the things so that Zimbabwe gets onto its feet. So this is a good move. Uh, the meeting of President Nelson Chamisa and the Australian ambassador is so, so, so welcome. We hope to see free, fair, credible elections happening in the nation of Zimbabwe, even though Zanupiev is not willing and is not ready to hold such an election. We look forward to see how they are going to stop change this time around. We look forward to see how they are going to survive this time around because we are not joking. We are not playing. And um, this is a good diplomatic move and um, we wish uh, the best for the comrade. Skanze Banapa, did you give him money for elections? We know he is your card, but you will lose. This is a Zanpia from Rakashi who is saying this. Uh, having relations does not mean you have to be given money. Australia uh, does have its embassy in Zimbabwe, and that embassy is mandated to meet uh, the opposition because the opposition might come as the new government tomorrow. How will you face each other if um, you were uh, uh, not meeting and you, you, you were not able to, to face each other? Hans um, uh, what international relationships are these? Remember, uh, Nelson Chamisa is um, contesting as the main opposition in Zimbabwe and um, is ready to form a new government. So, wise people know when to meet and when to talk about uh, important matters. Uh, besides that, we are in an election period. Australia is uh, does have an embassy in Zimbabwe, and they really need to have a clear position on issues which are happening in the nation of Zimbabwe. Uh, that's our next head of state. Okay, um, under the next president of Republic of Zimbabwe, he's my favorite uh, leader. Thanks, to Your Excellency. Uh, Munanga was feeling like expelling you from Zimbabwe and back to Australia. You have committed a criminal of, uh, offense of unimaginable proportion. Okay. And the, thank you, Ambassador. He is our next head of state. So this is what, uh, what is happening in the nation of Zimbabwe. Team Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is ready for change. We are ready for change. And let us vote wisely. The international community is ready for change as well.